Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming this morning. I'm going to talk about ESPA. What is ESPA? So ESPA is an enterprise storage provider accelerator that's been created by a combination of Picnic, Protocol Labs, with sponsorships from Seagate and AMD. The purpose of Picnic is a, a large storage provider. We're based in San Diego, California. And we were chosen by Protocol Labs to run the ESPA program <clears throat> because of our deep expertise, both on the technical side of things. We've got five Monterex fellows on the team, as well as the business side, right? The program is, is the goals of the program are to bring real customer data into the Filecoin network. So on the business side, you've got a lot of things around the crypto economics, the how do you sell to customers? How do you contract them? Things like that. We have deep expertise in uh, Web2 selling of storage on our team. We've got 40 employees that understand data as well as the technical side and how to sell it and ingest it. So uh, we started this program in February of this year. We've had four cohorts. Each cohort is 15 to 20 storage providers. And the goal is to get them educated on how to become a storage provider on the Filecoin ecosystem, right? So it's a seven month program starting with three days in Las Vegas, which is a lot of fun networking and events where we get to know each other. We do a cursory overview of the content. And then it's six months or so of uh, ongoing engagement, and I'll get into a lot more of the details there. So who should attend, right? So um, if you're a MSP, if you're a storage provider today, a data center operator, if you're a miner but want to understand how to move into selling uh, actual customers and ingesting that data into the ecosystem and understanding Phil Plus and how to monetize that, then you want to attend the ESPA program, right? Um, so what does the program offer? So it's about education as to how to become an enterprise grade storage provider on Filecoin, right? Um, there's no initial cost, this is totally free. All you have to do is get to Las Vegas for three days, right? The rest of the whole program is all virtual and online, right? Um, we have enterprise compute and storage equipment that we have in Las Vegas for one of our tracks that you can actually use yourself and monetize Filecoin on that network. We stand up a one petabyte node in Las Vegas for the participants that are on one of the tracks within the program. It's an opportunity to, we have special <coughs> relationships with leasing op opportunities for Filecoin. And uh, you, you actually get to keep the block rewards that are generated during the program, again, on one of the tracks. <coughs> ESPA's brought very inf influential tech firms interested in understanding the Filecoin ecosystem that are supporting the program. AMD, Intel, Seagate, Supermicro, Micron, Xilinx, for example, are all companies that want to understand more about Web3. What does it mean to us, right? That we are aligning our engineers with their under, uh, engineers so they can help optimize their platforms for storage providers on Filecoin and Web3 in general. So what does the journey look like? We start with three days in, in Las Vegas. We call that the boot camp. And that's fun, fun learning of hands-on sessions with our, our team of experts. Um, you have electronic presentation material to keep and access to the fill leasing, as I mentioned before. We next move in after that, after the three days in Las Vegas, the participants move into what we call the internship phase. And this is a very hands-on phase where we help them understand with bi-weekly roundtables, one-on-one uh, -on -one reviews, and we have a learning management system so you can learn how to, how to stand up a node in the network and how to participate in the business side of this. After the internship for three months, we move into the residency. And this is where we're helping you basically learn how to uh, create your own node and actually help you stand up that node. Um, how do you utilize uh, Lotus to bring in online deals? right, for yourself. You pair, we help you prepare your business plan, right, to raise financing and things like that, right? Um, you have access to our team of uh, fellows that are the experts in, in all the different tech stack to help them, uh, to help you monetize and help you become experts on managing a node in the network. And then we ultimately move to graduation where we have a demo day, right, and we have, where you present a business plan. So this is very much like a Y Combinator type uh, incubator type program where we help you with every stage along the way. So again, it's a seven month program, three days in Las Vegas to start. We've had um, aspiring enterprise storage providers from every continent in the world join our program, which is very exciting, right? So you see many participants from the United States, obviously, Canada, uh, Latin America. We've had participants from Puerto Rico, from Mexico, from Venezuela, for example. Uh, we had our first, can uh, first participant from Africa, from Nigeria, 
um, in our last cohort. And our next cohort, we've got uh, a couple of participants from Germany, for example, many participants from Europe, including Switzerland and Spain and the UK. And then here in Asia, we've had participants from Hong Kong, from Singapore, from Korea, from Thailand, for example. So the goal is to create a whole global ecosystem of providers that can exchange data with each other and learn from each other. What are the program options? There's two different paths with the program, right? There's the accelerator path, which is more of a cursory review of the, of the content, and um, you get to participate by monitoring a node in the network. We stand up a node that you can watch the progression of that node on the Falcoin network, and it's really a test node, right? The incubator program is where we have more of a vested interest in your business, right? So that's an equity track where uh, the combination of Picnic and Protocol Labs has a small equity stake in your company. If you're from outside the United States, you need to establish a C Corp within the United States for this program. But the benefit of that is that it's much more of a hands-on, proactive situation. When we stand up a one petabyte node in our data center in Las Vegas, the participants put up the fill collateral for that. It's approximately 6,500 fill today for one petabyte of committed capacity. <clears throat> and then you keep the block rewards for that. So you actually make a profit during the program. So we actually, think about that, right? So we're, all you have to do is get to Las Vegas, we stand up a node in the network, and you make a profit by attending a free program, right? That, that's, how can it get any better than that, right? Um, you, you, you then uh, receive 100% of all the block rewards, uh, that, again, managed by, on our infrastructure. Um, we bring real customer data. We have actually 15 petabytes of data to bring for two participants that go through this program on their own nodes that we help you st stand up down the road. And we provide help with fill leasing through programs with Anchorage and Dharma Capital to give you access to, to fill to help you grow the program and establish your own node. Um, most importantly, though, you've got ongoing support from our team on a consulting basis where we work with you one-on-one -on -one uh, even after the program, it could be a year down the program, two years down the program, we're still helping you consult on both the business aspects of running a node in the network, becoming a storage provider, as well as the technical aspects, right? The program also in Las Vegas has two different tracks from a standpoint. We typically want to have two participants from every um, uh, company, one that's more of a business-oriented person that's interested in the crypto economics, the sales and marketing of how do you sell to customers, how do you contract with them, um, the economics of that, how to participate in the global ecosystem of deal trading, right? Those are all the business aspects of the program. The, uh, and then there's a separate track for the technical aspects, and those are rated from beginner type technical elements to advanced. Um, so you can pick and choose which elements you attend while you're in Las Vegas, for example. Um. <clears throat> So just I'm going to put a little more detail into what we do after the boot camp. So after participants leave Las Vegas, it's all, everything else after that is virtual, right? So what we do is we provide um, roundtable discussions every two weeks on both the sales and marketing aspects and the technical aspects. So you, you uh, participate uh, via roundtable video discussions, uh, always covering different topics, right? So we give uh, sales help, right? We'll do um, how to sell to a customer, right? <clears throat> Things like that, just uh, guidance on how to do that. Um, we jumpstart your marketing. So we have collateral that you can put your logos on. It's already pre-planned how to sell certain aspects, how to do a sales pitch, right? Um, various sales collateral that you put your logos on. We've already created that for you so you don't have to reinvent the wheel and do that yourself, right? The LMS administration, this is our learning management system. So we've got deep levels of content that you have access to that's a much more of a deeper dive than what you get in the Vegas uh, experience, which is simply a cursory overview of each topic. And then there's a learning management system where we monitor your progression against that, those details. We help with data, procuring data center and bandwidth. Uh, we help you ingest data. We have real data to bring to you right now if you're going through this program. We have ceiling as a service we provide to get through the lumpiness of, of ingesting that, that data into the Filecoin ecosystem. We help you with fill plus support. How do, you, how do you apply within GitHub to get approval for fill plus? We're a notary so we can help streamline that process for you. We have what we call MAS, which is our mining as a service, which enables you to outsource parts of managing a stack of technology to Picnic, and we can manage that for you. 
uh, uh, proof of concept support, how we help uh, new, co new customers move into the ecosystem and help give them a proof of concept so they bring over samples of data to see how we ingest that into the Filecoin on your behalf. Right? Um, how do you deal with contracts? How do you contract with end users, right? How do you contract with agents how do you, and referral partners and things like that? We have these agreements that are already created, so you don't have to recreate those and spend legal time doing that. To give you a couple of ideas of some of the online classroom, um, that we've had over 70 hours of participation from the different uh, attendees from the program. We, um, this is some information on our roundtables. 98% um, of the participants that participate in the roundtable say they're very useful, and 100% of them say they're very satisfied with the support that they get from Picnic with the program, right? Um, we've spent, this is actually stats from a few months ago, 35 hours in roundtables, discussions uh, with the team. It's been much more than that now. And we have one-on-one uh, -on -one discussions, too. You can schedule through our application one-on-one -on -one discussions with the business experts on our team, as well as the technical experts. And any topic you can possibly come up with to become a storage provider, we have experts on those areas. We've got 16 hours of content, over 45 videos that you can, you can actually monitor these right now on YouTube, right? These are for public consumption. You don't even have to go to the program that we pre-recorded a lot of the content uh, for ESPA. So please go view those if you want to. We have an ESPA resource directory. And this is where we have all the sample contracts, the sample um, sales collateral for you to put your, your documentation on. This is where you get access to the learning management system. This is where you schedule one-on-one uh, -on -one discussions with the ESPA team and the picnic team. So it's really a portal that covers all this. The ESPA community directory is where all the uh, cohort members, there's about 15 to 20 members in each cohort, and then they get to know each other and trade data amongst themselves, right? So they become um, almost an alumni association of attendees. We're gonna have 50 participants this year, 80 next year. The next program starts in January after the cohort that's already full that starts in two weeks in Las Vegas, and the next one will be in January. We don't have the date set yet for that, and we'll get that out to everyone as soon as possible. So the end of the whole program, you want to have a certification, right? So what we're working on with Protocol Labs is actually a level of certification for storage providers, right? So that we all know there's a common level of expertise and ability to deliver to enterprise customers. Customers don't want to um, bring their data into the network unless they're confident that, that the storage providers can, uh, can manage that data appropriately. And then if you're replicating data around the world, you want to be able to um, understand that your peers in any country are up to the same standards that, that you are. One of our main goals with Picnic is to create more picnics out there, right? We want more peers that we can bring data to and receive data from. So we want to make sure that you've got proficiency around the classroom modules, right? Have you gone through all the learning management system and therefore educated yourself? You can have any number of your staff go through the program online. Do you, are you in a tier three data center, right? Are you in a quality data center that has redundancy and backup and quality services, right? Uh, this is very different than Bitcoin mining where you, could, where you need to be um, near the energy source and, and actually it's much more important to be on the network, right, for Filecoin, right? So those are different types of data centers. We want to make sure that the data center is appropriate in order to be certified. We want you to contribute to the community. What are you giving back to the community? Are you, are you uh, helping within Slack channels to help educate others, right? Do you have questions that you need answered back? Are you just participating in the events and things like this, right? That go to the events around the world and participate in those. It's very important because ultimately our goal is just to establish more of a sense of community on a global basis around Filecoin storage providers and bring more customers into the network, right? The ecosystem competence, like you have to demonstrate that you know how to pull data down from programs like Slingshot and other programs that Protocol Labs has and other areas where you can bring uh, real customer data onto your network. So we wanna make sure that we illustrate that capability. You have certain levels of security, right? So we're going through actually ourselves, SOC 2, uh, level security compliance, right, for example. So certain levels of security. Financial capability. To be a storage provider, you've got to have access to fill collateral, access to capital to build out um, the node and the network. So you've got a certain level of financial capability. We have a lot of data to share with others. You have to be able to have the, the capital in order to scale that business, right? 
Um, storage competence, do you know how to manage customer data? Do you do things like encryption, right? How to transport data to others, right? Things like that are, are just storage competency around this. Have a thorough website, right? We don't want anonymity. We want you to be public with your services, right? We can help you with your content on your website. We want you to be able to communicate publicly that you're a storage provider so that customers can see what you have available and they can validate um, moving uh, data to you as well, right? Um, formal agreements that you actually contract with end users. That is enterprise customers, Web2 customers, are used to having contracts, right? Do you have the proper agreements and the proper relationship through legal documents with customers? It all proves out and make more for, for legitimacy um, as to how Web2 customers are used to being um, accommodated and worked through. And performance, right? So you perform at the demo day, which is really just simply uh, a communication of your business plan. So we can help you with investors, right? We can help you with your peers to bring data from other storage providers, other ESPO co uh, cohorts that want to bring data to you. <clears throat> so in summary, <clears throat> ESPO is, a mission, critical to, is mission critical to Filecoin's long-term adoption, right? So it's a global network. As I've shown, we've got people coming from all over the world to Las Vegas. We're looking at now, how do we establish ESPA on the road? How do we come to Korea? How do we come to Singapore? How do we come to Mexico and deliver the same content so you don't have to go all the way to uh, Las Vegas to do this? But we are um, in plans to do that or do lighter versions and, and bring that to different countries in, in local languages. Right? Mentorship, so it's all about helping you understand how to participate in the ecosystem. Very long-term mindset, right? This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. You've got to invest in the sales and marketing to be successful as a storage provider. It takes a long sales cycle to sell customers and make them feel comfortable to bring data to Filecoin. But it's really exploding right now. We have almost more data than we can handle right today at Picnic, for example, and we need others to share in that with us. Future proof your business. If you're a Web 2 data center operator or sell storage to customers today, Web 3 is real. It's here right now, right? And, and so you've got to learn about it. You don't want to be the next Uber or Airbnb of, of storage, right? You want, to, you want to be with the current technologies and the current ecosystem to support that. And this is a reality, again, not just a vision. This is here today, and it's very, very real. So please join us. I'm going to be at the storage uh, provider meetup. I'm going to be doing another little version of this later today. Um, our website is web3yespa.io, and I'm, at, I'm Michael, Michael at Picnic, P-I-K, N-I-K. Again, we're, we're, we're accepting applications right now for our January cohort, and we'd love to have uh, more people from the, from the East join us there. So thank you very much. <laughs>